Hi, welcome to the part 2 of the MuseCore tutorial series and in this video I'll be showing you how to add lyrics to your notes on MuseCore and a couple of more tips to find your way around this software. Okay, so stick around. So I believe you've launched your MuseCore now. So we have the notes we've written before here just like this. We remember the last time we wrote this note. So I'm going to show you how to add lyrics to your notes and to do that you want to come to the add here the menu bar add add across to text and you can see this drop down list and select lyrics you can see the shortcut to doing this control plus l on your keyboard so when you click on this now this dialog box comes up why because you've not selected any notes before going to break up the lyrics so this says no notes or lyrics selected please select the note or lyrics and retry okay so to bring up our lyrics click on the first note and then add lyrics you can see this now we're ready to start adding our lyrics so this is very simple to do and we start may we add a little lem little lem little lem may we Lamp. It fleece was white as snow. Okay, so let's say we want to add one more line of lyrics to our notes and we want to add the numbers to show that this is line one, this is line two, and something like that. So I'm just going to double click here. In the first text in the first letter and then I add one and space okay so to bring up my lyrics line two, just click on the first note again and control plus L on your keyboard so that's lyrics line two okay every where that Mary went Mary went. Mary went. Every where that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. And that's it. We've added two lines of lyrics to our notes pretty much easy to do so let's say you, you made an error in the course of writing your music you all your notes are too compact together you can drag the notes hold it with your mouse and drag and space out the lyrics it's as easy as that you can space out your lyrics you can customize your entire piece you can see this now this is much easier to read now because everything is evenly spaced okay so other things you could do are you can double click on this title box right here and select the notes if you don't like the font or the size you can just come down here the moment you enter this box you can see the font panel comes up so that you can adjust the fonts so select again and you can change your fonts to whatever you are convenient with so you can choose any font it makes sense you can change any font depending on the fonts you have pre-installed on your pc that's on your computer so you can choose any fonts that make sense for you okay so mary had a little lamp the same thing goes for this other text you can select them and change them so i'm just going to leave that the way they are and also you can see this star up here 
tells you that you've not saved your work so it's very important to save your work on new score so i'm just going to click on the save button okay and then it's saved right so after making any changes you're going to see the start pop up there so telling you that you've not saved the next change you made okay so in the previous video we brought up the play panel i'm just going to bring it up again view the play panel it's also useful to bring up the piano keyboard all right well i also want to show you that there's a mini play panel right here and only that this may not allow you to change the tempo like we can do on the play panel so you can just if you want to play this now very easy click on the first note play all right i want to play that again using this play panel Now the limitation of this panel is that you can't adjust the tempo. So let's say I want to adjust the tempo. I want to drag it down to 100 BPM. Okay, I can't do that here. So I have to come to the play panel to do that. Okay, so I want to play that again. And of course, I talked about this before. When you click on this box, it allows you to toggle the, the, the playback. keeps on repeating the playback. You can see the two symbols here telling you that it's going to start from here end here and repeat again so these are just the volumes this is the master volume you can raise this up this is the tempo and this is the metronome volume so i like to enable the metronome so that i can, I can hear the sound that tells me if my notes are properly written or not okay so all right let's listen again to all the rhythm. Again. okay that's enough so that's that about adding the lyrics to this piece of music we've written also i want to show you that this palette we have here is the basic palette okay you can switch over to the advanced workspace so it's just going to bring up a couple of more tools to work with However, you may not necessarily need all these tools, so it's, it's, it's okay if you leave it on the basic edited workspace. So, these are just most of the things you are going to need most of the time. But you can always switch, you can always switch between your palettes right here. Alright, so there are shortcuts all around MuseScore. So, bring up everything you can see, the shortcut written by the side of everything. So, even the play panel we brought up. F11 on your keyboard will simply bring up the play panel again. So there are shortcuts for almost everything on your score. Alright, so one more thing I want to talk about is how to export your work. And now we've finished our work, we've written the note and added the lyrics. We want to save it and export. So head across to file and come down to export. So when you click on this, you have this dialog box. Alright, so here you want to choose a name by default it's going to assume the title of your piece and then the first export option is pdf you can select pdf and just click on save all right it's just going to bring it here and save it for me it's saved so i can go look it up and bring up the piece go to your documents mere score and you're going to find it there that's the piece of everything okay so isn't this beautiful you've written the piece and you can produce a pdf file of your piece it's, it's that easy so this is what we have the lyrics everything well aligned and evenly spaced okay so let's say i want to generate an mp3 file an audio file from my piece very simple file go to export again and this time come down here you can see a couple of options to choose PDF is the first default export option so that doesn't mean that's the only option when you come down you can see a host of different export options so I like this mp3 audio click on this and then um, it's going to show you a couple of audios you've written before 
so I want, to, I want to bring it to this directory Mary add a little lamb so I'm just going to do this change this to mp3 okay and then save you can see it you can see that box right there showing you the process ongoing and then it's done so I can bring it up mp3 and just play it okay and there you have it so it makes sense for me to be able to generate an audio file of my piece as well as the PDF score that way I can write a song and send it to anybody even if he doesn't know anything about music he can look at the lyrics look at the notes play the mp3 and be able to sing my song so that'll be all for this video thank you very much for following through Please share this video with your network and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.